Hello there, welcome to Yes Yoga Stories and I'm Thrupti. And here I am in a small little village called Lataguri. So to go get to Lataguri, we came by bus because we missed the train. Otherwise from Siliguri station, you can take a train and get off at Lataguri. And we stay at a place, at a homestay called Opavan Homestay, where we were also in 2018 when we had been here. So that is really, really close. This area is very close to the station. And what we realized is, here there were a lot of um, just once there were a lot of paddy fields now if you see the paddy fields have been converted people have started growing tea instead because obviously tea is a cash crop and yields them more money than paddy and also tea is i mean both paddy and tea is a lot of hard work so but with tea they can as i said they earn more money but others i'll take you around show you around while I'm walking, my two boys are ahead. You can see them there uh, and I'm behind. So there's one more tea garden here. There are lots of homestays, lots of houses that are getting built here. And again, here another huge tea garden. A lot of the things here are all organic. So this is tea, very close by, let's go very close and as you can see this is the tea bush. So the first flush would be like the topmost, so this is like the, uh, as you can see the, the bud, that's the most expensive part, then the first two leaves, the uh, second most expensive, so yeah, and there the sun, it's so beautiful. And we are going to walk and enjoy the sunset and then we'll go back home. Uh, a lot of places here, so most people do farming here and there's a lot of cane industry because of the huge amount of bamboos, the different sorts of cane, bamboos growing here. People, uh, there's a big cane industry where people are making cane furniture, lampshades, and all sorts of things so i'll also make another video on the cane stuff until then you can just see these are again the same beetle beetle nut trees here everywhere in northeast just like also in maharashtra people chew a lot of beetle nut eat pan so there's a very strong beetle nut growing culture. Everywhere you'll see beetle nut trees popping in them amidst the uh, tea gardens. And these are almond trees. Here again another tea garden as you can see. And also, of course, a lot of paddy is also still grown. In this area, still a lot of farming is done by using oxen. I've not seen a single tractor in this area still. Let's go. As you can see the bananas here. And the Goramura National Park is quite close from here, one of the gates. So you can almost go into the buffer zone, buffer area, walking. You, will, you can hear the elephants. So my son and my brother, they went for a walk early morning and they saw, saw a lot of elephant dung and mass which were like quite fresh and i'm quite happy that the elephants did not because these are wild elephants so you never know you know if they feel intimidated uh you will be dead right so i'm quite grateful that everything went well and here is like as usual everywhere you'll have these small little temples with all kinds of local gods and goddesses. 
a little bit mixed of tribal and Hindu culture. Here yeah, there is a river. I don't know if it's a river or more or less a dam maybe because the water is very still and marshy so it's not a river. And here again you see a lot of bamboos, all different sorts of bamboos growing here as I already said. Bamboos grow really wild and people eat bamboo shoots. It's a very important part of the Assamese and also the West Bengal cuisine here. Although we also in Konkan also eat bamboos, bamboo shoots. massive bamboo trees very many different sorts of bamboos so my son is calling that's the nature here and the sun again and with that i uh, wish you well and join me again for more thrifty in life uh, tune into yes yoga stories likes share and subscribe bye bye